What you're looking at is a test panel that I put together to determine if dupli-color spatter paint requires a clear or not in an application for painting the interior of a trunk. Basically what I did was I took a brand new piece of sheet metal that I purchased at a home store, I scuffed it with a Scotch-Brite and cleaned it with wax grease and silicone remover. After doing so I applied two coats of rattle can enamel primer. After that primer was allowed to dry completely I applied two coats of dupli-color spatter paint, allowing each coat to dry thoroughly with an hour in between. After that was done, half the panel was clear coated with a Valspar stone clear sealer and the other half of the panel was not. After all the materials were applied to the panel, the entire panel was allowed to dry for approximately one week. What was done after that was to determine whether Either side of this panel was resistant to moisture, approximately three to four inches of the bottom of the panel are submersed in water. We're going to set our timer for 15 minutes. And that ought to give us an adequate indication of what possibly happens to this panel, to this paint, when it's subject to complete immersion in water. We'll see you back here again in 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, what we did was just remove the test panel from the tub. And I'm going to put it back on display here and let's see what we came up with. First of all, the first thing I notice is on the non-clear side, you'll notice that we have a change in color. Is that the duplicolor with no clear has become lighter in the area where it was immersed in water. The clear side on the other side, on the other hand, has no change in color. To see how the coating has actually been affected, the first thing I'm going to do is a simple wipe test where I'm going to take a clean paper towel and rub it across the wet section and it looks like I got some material on the paper towel. Now I'll take another clean section and rub it across the cleared side. and no residual came off on the towel. The second test now will be with a plastic putty scraper. As you can see at the line where this panel was submersed in water for 15 minutes this material has started to come off and ended up on this scraper. Bringing some credence to what people say on the internet that duplicolor without any type of clear protective coat will start to deteriorate or degrade when it gets wet. The same scrape test on the cleared side, if you even listen to that sound, you can tell that that's a hard finish. Trying to scrape anything off this cleared side results in nothing coming off on the squeegee. So basically I've saved myself some aggravation by painting my trunk before doing this test and realizing that if you are going to use this product, you need to clear it. If you choose to use this product and you don't clear it, any moisture that will accumulate in your trunk, if you have any leaks in your trunk, will probably result in this same situation. I certainly agree that this is not a typical test and I'm not saying that your trunk would fill up with water. But the way to go and to avoid having to completely do your trunk over is that if you're going to use any kind of rattle can spatter paint, specifically duplicolor, is that utilize a clear coat after the spatter paint has completely dried. I hope this information will be helpful to anybody who's working on a project similar to myself. Thanks and good luck.